Okay. Number five. We'll start with number five. You said page 73. Number five. Number five, page 73. Figure 3.8. Figure 3.8 is being drawn. The figure that I'm talking about is, is that one. <clears throat> Show a cross-sectional view of a re reinforced short column with a still water pipe in the middle. The reinforcing consists of six 20 millimeter diameter round bar. We're having this one, it's our round bar, according to the statement. There are six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Diameter, 20. Do you know what's a cross-sectional area? You know a cross sectional area? Mm. Okay, as long as you understand, no problem. So, that is the first thing we got from the statement here. The outside diameter of the pipe is 100 millimeter, and the inside diameter is 80 millimeter. This is the pipe, isn't it? It's correct, right? Mm -hmm. I think they said the pipe is in the middle. Mm -hmm. And this is the middle. Yes. So this is the pipe. So what they are telling us, they are saying this diameter, this one here, is 100. And this one, this, that diameter is 80. I want to make sure that we are having the same textbook or the same question. And it's very important to analyze the question before you start answering it. The steam of the pipe and reinforcing are of the same kind. Meaning, this one and this one, they're the same. They're made of the same material. They're both steam, same kind. Yeah, you understand the question. Calculate the stress in the steel and the concrete if the column support a load of 300 kilo newton it support the load of 300 kilo newton so what kind of the load is that one compressive tensile sorry is it compressive or tensile it support that load Tensile. Compressive. Compressive. Compressive, yeah. Yes. It's like we're having this thing. I do not know what they call it. Usually, you have this one at home. Uh, Pan meter. What, what do you call it? Yeah. In it? Yeah. yeah, you're on the leg. Yes. So here, there's a load here. That load is the one, and here is a, it's a ground, meaning you have a force there and a force there. That force is. 300 kilo newton. The modulus of elasticity of steel is 15 times more than that of concrete. If I say E, steel, 
is equals to 15 times E of a concrete. Did you write that? Represent that statement correctly? Mm -hmm. Okay. What, what they want us here to calculate, they want us to calculate the stress of a steel and the stress of the concrete. We are given that one, cross-sectional area. First thing to understand is the connection. What kind of the connection is that one? What type of connection? It's parallel, eh? Yes, yeah, parallel, because the other one is inside the other one. This is a cross-sectional area. For instance, um, let's take this, this spring, this one. It's a, it's a pipe. Inside this pipe, I have, this is a concrete. Inside this concrete, I have a pipe. I have the, the bar. You see them from this side. That's a cross-sectional area. But when you support the load, you support from this side. But the cross-sectional area, so this is the area which you see here. That is why you see it like this round here. Just like that. So, you, you are saying it's parallel. For parallel, what is it that we know? For parallel, what is it that we know? Sorry? Equal length, ne? L for steel is equal to L for concrete. What else do we know? Sorry? Change in length for S is equal to? Change in length for? Mm -hmm. What else do we know? Sorry? Total force? Mm -hmm. FS plus FC. So now, they want us to find a stress. And yesterday I did tell you, in most cases, in most, when you are having parallel, you solve these two equations simultaneously so that you can find stress or a force. Because the 300, remember we are having 300 kilonewton, right? This 300 kilonewton, is it for a steel or is it for a concrete? This is the total, ne? Yes, this is the total. We cannot just say, F, agree with no F steel is equal to stress of a steel times area of a steel. We cannot just take this one and substitute here. This one is total. So, meaning we should find Fs, we should also find that one. So let us calculate from the two. Uh, let us start with this one. X, do you use F or, or, or stress? What do you prefer? Stress, ne? Let us use stress. Stress for this one times L over E. This one for steel, steel, steel. It's equals to stress copper L copper over E copper. Is it correct? The formula. I think we said these two they are equal. I'm just substituting. Does changing length like use this formula? It does, not Yes. What about the, the length? We said length are equal because are connected parallel, right? Yes. So meaning mathematically, if these two are equal, they can cancel. Mathematical. So from there, this one, this one here, they say is 15C. Meaning we can substitute there, we say stress over 15 EC is equals to over EC. This and this doesn't they cancel? 
meaning stress S is equal to 15 stress C. When I was asking here, do you use stress or force? I can remember for, 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 for extension, you also have the formula which is F L over A E. Yes, that, that's what I was, I was asking. So, okay, and we can call this one our equation one. That we can call that our equation one. Remember, I said we use this two in most cases to find the stress and the force. So now we have used our extension to get our equation one. Now we need to use the force to get our equation two. So, force, when I substitute there, is total force is equal to stress. Again, here I was using stress. It means even here I will write in terms of stress. If I was using force here, or even if there I was going to use force. Stress, steel, times area, steel plus. Stress, concrete, times area, concrete. Which this one is... 300, ne? Exponent 3. Yeah, that exponent must write times 10 to the power 3. So in this one, remember our equation 1 is in terms of stresses. Even this one we must leave this one in terms of stresses. We do not have stress, understandable, but what about area? Can we calculate area? So meaning we must first calculate area before we, we, we use this formula, right? Okay. Let me take this off so that we can calculate the area. Area of a steel. How many steels do we have there? How many steels do we have here? I now we need to cover the area of a of a steel. Yes. We have six parts, ne? And one, one pipe. Meaning the total area it will be six, six area of a bar plus area of a pipe. That is the total area of a steel. I agree, I agree the pipe is made of a steel and this bus. So the bar will have this area number one, area number two, area number three. If you do not include this six, it means you will be only calculating for only one bar. So we are including six to indicate that we have this area, that area, that area to come, and then they give us the total area of a steel. And even from there, you must also include the pipe, because even the pipe is made of a steel. So, okay. Six. What is the formula to calculate the area of a, of a bar? What's the formula? Pi d squared over four plus. How to calculate the area of a pipe? Sorry? Pi d squared minus d squared over 4. So which it will be 6 times 6 pi 0, 0, 2 squared over 4 plus pi into 0, 1 squared minus 0, 0 8 squared all over 4. Is there anyone who failed to understand that one? Because I believe you did not get it because of the areas. That's what I believe. So what do you get? Put that one in engineering mode. 4, 712 
meter square, ne? Yes. So now we have the area of a of a steel. From there we'll need the area for concrete. How do you find the area of a concrete? Do you see? Do you see the concrete? Yeah. This one here. All of this. It's a concrete, ne? But within a concrete, we are having what? A ramp bar. Is this is this this one? Is this still part of a concrete? No. Meaning we should take this out, ne? We must also check this out, right? We must also check this out. Because this one that is steel, they're not concrete. We are having a concrete, inside a concrete, we are having a steel. So this is not the area of a steel. No, this is not this steel is not the area of a concrete. Is there anyone that does not understand? Oh, you do. So meaning, area for the concrete is this one. Minus this. All these six of them. So the question is, is this one here? Is that one a concrete? It's not a concrete, ne? So let's take I take this out. Would I be left with this? For for now, just just for now, I want you to imagine. Just imagine as this concrete, this steel is a concrete, ne? Yeah. Forget about this, this, this bar. So now we're having the, the whole of concrete. In this concrete, we're having a pipe. If you check this pipe out, how will your concrete look like? Won't it look like a pipe? <laughs> Meaning you will be having your concrete with the outside diameter of 300, right? Then you're, you're gonna also have a wall where you have removed, you have removed what? You have removed the pipe. Yeah. Meaning the area of a concrete is, is, is this one here, which it will be, area of the concrete will be pi d, big D minus small d square over four. You understand this one, eh? Mm -hmm. But remember, it's not like this one. We are also having another steels here, which will also need to subtract the area of those steels. I'm not sure if it makes sense. So in another words, the area of a concrete, the area, area of this concrete, it will be pi d square for the concrete minus small d square for the concrete over four minus six of the round bar. This area of the round bar. Does this make sense? Okay. If it makes sense, let, 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 let's carry on. Is pi, what did I substitute there? It's three, zero comma? Three square minus? Zero comma one square over four, ne? Minus six pi, this one, 0, 0, 0,02 square over 4. And what is the total area of a, total area of a concrete? What is the total area of a concrete? Engineering mode. Put your calculator in engineering mode. Six comma mm -hmm. times ten. Two meter square. That is the area of a concrete.
Is your calculator in engineering mode? Sixty. There's there's an in, there's something like in E and G on your calculator. You just punch that one once. Sixty comma nine four seven times ten to the power meter square. So this one I will come and write it this side. I want to erase there. E S is equals to fifteen E C. So we are done with this one. And we said because this is connected in parallel, therefore the total force is equals to F S plus F C, whereby this one we said is three hundred exponent. 3 is equals to this one is a stress of a steel times the area of a area of a steel is 4 comma 712 exponent negative 3 plus uh, sorry stress stress of the concrete times 60 comma 4 I guess this one you need to substitute equation 1 right or did you not see that yes so it will be 3 0 0 exponent 3 is equals to this one we said is 15 stress C times 4.712 exponent negative 3 plus stress C times 60 comma 947 exponent negative 3 so what will be your stress 2 comma 2 or is this 2 comma 2 7 2 comma 2 7 3 Six. That's mega pascal, ne? So this is the solution. It's your solution for that one. But for steel, remember it's 15 times that one. Which it will be 15 times 2 comma 273 mega pascal. What do you get? What do you get? Zero nine. Make a Pascal. Uh, <clears throat> what what would be the nature? What is the nature of these stresses? The nature I want to know if it's tensile or compressive. It's compressive. You're right. You are right when you say it's compressive. Why compressive? Because the force which we used, ne? Yeah. it was a compressive force. And uh, this thing, when you apply tensile force, it will, the stress you get, it will be tensile, right? When you apply compressive force here, the, the, the stress which you get, it will be compressive. Tensile, tensile. Compressive, compressive. So that is what you get. And on the next chapter, if you cannot tell this two, uh, let us look at number number four. It's page forty-seven. Number four. Number four, page forty-seven. A member consists of three sections. The first. Six, the first part is a pipe with an outside diameter of 80 millimeter. This is the first section. 
it has the outside diameter of 80. And is 600 long. The second section is a solid bar. What they talk about bar means doesn't have a womb. It has a length of 200 and a diameter of 100. So where do I connect this one, the second one? Where do I connect the second bar? At this end, ne? I connect it there. And then there it is. From there to there. They say it's, how long? 200 millimeters. And the diameter? Diameter 600. 100. The diameter there is 100. And they see the third section is 50 millimeter square bar with a length, length of 50, meaning the last one. This is the last one. They say it's a square, meaning it's not a round. Therefore, here is 50, even this other side is 50. There? The length is 500. But you understand that 50? Okay. All sections are of the same material. Mm -hmm. So I use that one, meaning E is the same across me. A tensile of 200, meaning here we are having a force of 200 kilonewton, which still the same as this side, the force is 200 kilonewton. All this one, it causes the total strain. Total strain of 7, 548 exponent negative 4, whereas E is equal to 210 giga pascal. They want us to calculate the inside diameter of the pipe. So what kind of the connection is this one? Series. Under series, what is it that we know? Sorry? The first applied is equal, right? Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes. The first, this first which is applied here is also applied there, is also applied there. The first applied is equal. Mm -hmm. What else do we know? The what? The length, oh, yeah. as you can see, here is 600, here is 200, there is 500. The length is not the same and we are given the different length. What else do we know? Total what? Total change in length? Total change in length is This one is saying color. This one second, this one third, ne? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Plus, ne? Mm -hmm. X2 plus X3. X3. You see that one? So in this case, we are, we are not given total, they want us to find the diameter here, the diameter of the wall, there. If we're given total extension, maybe we're going to try to use a total extension. This, we're going to try to use this formula. But instead, they give us total strain. So instead of using extension, will use a strain. The formula for strain 
is the same as for extension. Meaning here, the total strain is the same as strain 1 plus strain 2 plus strain 3. As I'm saying, they are the same. For parallel, it will be like that. The strain. You understand, eh? Yes. Because we are given a, a total strain, it means we are going to use strain instead of what? Instead of a extension. We do not have total extension. If we are having total extension, we are going to just try that one. So, okay. Total extension, we can substitute this one as 7, 548 exponent negative 4 is equals to how do you calculate strain? How do you calculate strain? Yesterday we said strain is equals to x over L, ne? and this what is x? This what is f? FL over A in times this L. You understand that one? So meaning this L and that L will cancel, right? We are left with F is equal to A E. It's correct, ne? So meaning I can substitute here. I can say it's F F1 over area 1 E1 plus F2 over area 2, E2, plus F3 over area 3 times E3. So when you kill on 7,548 exponent negative 4 is equals to. What do you know about F? F they are equal, ne? Yeah. F applied is equal. Meaning, we can take a common factor of f. Is correct, ne? What do you know about e? They are the same, ne? Because they say these things made of the same material. Meaning, we can also take the common factor of what? Of e. Agree, they say this are the same. We are taking a common factor. You are doing mathematics. So here we're left with 1 over area 1 plus 1 over area 2 plus 1 over area 3. So in that case, in this case, we have 7, 5, 4 is equals to F. Don't we have F? 200. It's 200, ne? Exponent 3 over 2 exponent 9 into 1 over area. When we check area 1, it's a hollow shaft, right? Or a, or a pipe. Which means I will be having 4 over pi d square over d square. Do you need to explain this one? I don't need. Okay. Plus, same applies here. This one is for, is, is for one, a diameter one one. This one is the same, is four over pi d, d two square. I think this one, it, it, it doesn't, it only have one diameter. That's why it's like this one. Plus, this one, this is a square. What's the, how do you find the area of a square? Yeah. Then it comes to me. If I say B square, am I wrong? No. I think that the same. Yes. yes. It's like that one. So now I can substitute whatever I want to substitute. 7.54. 8 exponent negative 4 is equal to 2, 0, 0 exponent 3 over 2, 10 exponent 9 into 4 over pi 
This one is 0, 0,08 square minus G1. We do not have G1, it's the one which we are looking for. Plus 4 over pi into this 100. 0, 0,1 square plus this one is 50, which is 0, 0,05 square. So if you check here, the only unknown is D1, which misses this inside diameter there. Therefore, D1, find D1, not D1 square. Calculate D1 and tell me what you get. From here, I guess 1 over A3. So when I come and substitute here, it means it's 1 over B square. 1 over B square. Thanks a lot. And when you calculate what you get, I do not know. So once we are done with this one, it means we will be done with chapter 2 and chapter 1. Only chapter 1 will be left with this thing, the graph whereby testing of material, stress strain graph. Can I erase? There's this last part I want us to talk about. No, after after you have calculated diameter, I think you can calculate the rest. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can calculate the rest. For instance, page is it page fourteen because they want a total change in length. And total change in length is this one, the formula. Total change in length is this one. It means you calculate for one, you calculate for two, you calculate for three separately. You know the formula. You know the formula to calculate this one, then you will, you will be able to find that one. The question which follows the maximum stress in the member. They want the maximum stress. Meaning you will calculate the stress, you calculate the stress, you calculate the stress. Yesterday I did tell, told, uh, I told you, I taught you yesterday that even though we are applying the same force on this three, but that doesn't mean this one can carry the same force as this one. Yes. So meaning we'll be using this force to find the stresses on the other ones.